Con el 102. The numerical values for the current and voltages in the circuit for the following figure are given in this table. So we have a circuit, several so connections, and the directions, just reference directions for each element is given. For example, IA going this way, plus and minus, VA is like this, et cetera, et cetera, for all the elements. And the corresponding values based on these reference directions <clears throat> is given in this table. For example, element A, when it said voltage 40, meaning that based on this direction, this of polarity, plus and minus, that's 40 volts. Okay, so this is 40 volts. And the IA, it says negative four milliamps, so minus four milliamps. Okay. Okay, very good. So, and for all the elements, we have the values. Find the total power developed in the circuit. Okay, so this is a very good practice in a sense that um, we can we can somehow work with the different polarity, different directions, and see how it works. So let's just start from uh, element A. Uh, even before knowing the values, P of A is. Uh, <clears throat> so there are two ways to doing that. Okay. Either you can say, look at the positive here. So it's VA and then times the current that is going that way, which is negative YA. This is one way of doing that. So that's my preferred way because this way you can always stay with P equal to VI, but the only thing that you have to make sure is that the I needs to go from terminal one to, ter to terminal positive to negative within the element, okay? So VA times negative IA, okay? Or you can say, okay, this element doesn't follow the passive sign convention mm, exactly because of that reason. I, I, I agree that way. So I, I will use negative VI. So negative VA times IA. Both of them, of course, lead to the same thing. It's up to you which one you want to use. So that's for PA. And then you can always look at the values and just replace it. Now let's look at PB. P, let me. Oh, never mind. Okay. PB. Okay. I, again, I, I myself work with the positive part, VB, and then look at the current that is going inside that, which is IB. VB. In this case, it is a, actually the passive side convention. So just simply. VB times IB. Now let's look at element three. P of C. So positive, negative V of C times the current that is going that way. I will say minus nine C. Okay. So I I I just correct the direction by saying it is negative IC going this way, then times V of C. You can do that. Or you can say, okay, it's not a passive sign convention, so this is negative VCIC. Again, the same thing. Okay, now look at the V of D, or P of D, sorry. The power, the D element, VD times, Negative, right? Again, it's not a passive sign convention. Element E, VE times IE, good. Passive sign convention. P of F is VF times the current that is going through. So, right. So again, the rule is that if you have an element, 
And if there's a plus and minus V, let's say, uh, and then let's say, I don't know, V star. And then if I star is this way, you say V star times I star. And if it happens that, um, the I star was going the other way. Then we could say V times negative that. Because actually, if you look at the plus and minus, the negative I star is going to be. Okay, right. And then you can just put the values from the table and you can find the power and just do the rest. Um, I, I just let you guys do that yourself. For me, the most important part was to tell you how you can basically write the power formula based on having the V and I and then you take care of the sign of this. So now going back to the circuit, which ones are passive sign convention? So this is passive sign convention. This is not, this is not, this is not. This is passive sign convention and this is, so B, um, B and F for passive sign. 